from a global security symbol to some of the most intense moments in human history. Here are nine facts about the Doomsday Clock. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 9. What is it? The Doomsday Clock is a symbolic representation of how close humanity is to a global catastrophe. It's not meant to predict doomsday events, but rather to raise worldwide awareness towards looming threats. The Doomsday Clock is universally recognized as a metaphor for man-made dangers in which midnight represents the culmination of a hypothetical doomsday scenario. Number 8. How does it work? The Doomsday Clock doesn't work like a conventional timekeeping device as it can be set both closer and farther away from midnight. This has happened several times throughout its history, in accordance with global threats and the political landscape. The closer the clock is set to midnight, the more significant the threat level is. The purpose of the setting is to determine the degree of urgency in addressing issues of global security. These include unstable political regimes, military conflicts, nuclear weapons, disruptive technologies, or climate change. Before we move on, answer this question. The clock setting has been changed 23 times since 1947. Where does it stand at the moment? A. 10 minutes to midnight. B. 8 minutes to midnight. C. 5 minutes to midnight. D. 2 minutes to midnight. Let us know what you think in the comments section below and stay tuned to find out the right answer. Number 7. Who operates it? Each January, the setting of the clock is announced by the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. It's a non-profit organization that periodically reviews the trends and implications of global events and how they pertain to matters of security. The Bulletin's Science and Security Board meet in person twice a year, while various subcommittees hold meetings more frequently. The board is composed of experts, all of whom are recognized as leaders in their fields. Prior to discussing the clock's latest setting, the Bulletin hosts an annual meeting and a dinner in Chicago, both of which are open to the public. Number 6. Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists The Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists started out as a magazine founded by biophysicist Eugene Rabinowitz and fellow physicist Hyman Goldsmith. It's been publishing continuously since 1945, after the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Its founders wanted to inform the public regarding the horrendous reality of nuclear weapons and how they might shape the future of humanity. The bulletin's objective is also to help people understand the realities of the scientific age, with an emphasis on nuclear energy and, more recently, climate change and disruptive technologies. Additionally, it serves as an international forum for opinions on how to best deal with any growing global concerns. The Doomsday Clock is a staple of the Bulletin and the most visited feature on its website. Before we move on, Official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. It's out of this world. Number 5. When was it created? Hyman Goldsmith, one of the Bulletin's founding fathers, asked artist Myrtle Langsdorf to design a cover for the June 1947 issue of the magazine. She chose to represent it as a clock, symbolizing the impending dangers of nuclear weapons. Similar to a countdown, it suggests that destruction will occur naturally unless the proper measures are taken to stop it. The clock's initial setting was seven minutes to midnight, due to the looming nuclear threats at the dawn of the Cold War. Two years later, the clock was moved at three minutes to midnight, following the Soviet Union testing its first atomic bomb. Within this context, the nuclear arms race had officially begun. Number 4. Farthest Setting The Doomsday Clock's farthest setting 
was 17 minutes to midnight in 1991. In July of that year, the US and the Soviet Union signed the first Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, which would later be known as START-1. It remains the largest and most complex arms control treaty in history. Following a series of protests and revolutions in Soviet-controlled countries, the Soviet Union dissolved later that year. The Supreme Soviet, the Union's highest legal body, voted the USSR out of existence on December 26, 1991. The end of the Cold War thus brought about the farthest setting of the Doomsday Clock, hence the lowest threat level in its existence. Number 3. Manhattan Project Connection A number of people that were behind the bulletin and the Doomsday Clock had also been part of the Manhattan Project. This was the research and development program that produced the first nuclear weapons during World War II. Eugene Rabinowicz, the bulletin's co-founder, worked in the project's metallurgical laboratory in Chicago. He also co-authored the Frank Report of June 1945. It recommended that control of nuclear energy should be civilian rather than military. The report also suggested that the US should test its atomic bombs before world leaders prior to using them in combat. These concerns became the guiding principles behind the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. Myrtle Langsdorf, the artist who designed the clock, was married to Alexander Langsdorf Jr. He also worked on the Manhattan Project alongside Enrico Fermi, the father of the atomic bomb. In 1942, Fermi completed the first sustained nuclear reaction. Langsdorf was among the designers of the first nuclear reactors. Langsdorf managed to produce a plutonium sample that was used in Trinity, the first detonation of a nuclear device. He urged President Truman not to use it against the Japanese, but nevertheless, a plutonium-based bomb was later dropped on Nagasaki. So, where does the clock stand as of 2019? The right answer is D, two minutes to midnight. The setting which matches that of 1953 is the closest to midnight in the clock's history. It reflects a global failure to address issues of climate change and nuclear tensions. The setting also takes into account the undermining of democracy through information warfare, as well as dangers from technologies like synthetic biology and artificial intelligence. Number two, threats. Historically, the most significant swings in the doomsday clock have been largely influenced by nuclear activity. The most recent setting has been attributed to several major factors, which include some familiar threats. In 2019, the US and Russia both formally retreated from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. The treaty banned all of the nation's use of land-based cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and missile launches within the ranges of 310 to 3,420 miles. The bulletin also claims that nuclear-armed states have been committed to modernizing their capabilities while the North Korean nuclear issue has remained largely unresolved. The 2019 Doomsday Clock statement claims that the US has abandoned its efforts of leading the world in reducing fossil fuel use. It also notes a rise in recent years of global carbon dioxide emissions. The statement describes the intentional corruption of the information ecosystem that civilization depends on. Within this context, concepts like the truth and fake news have become interchangeable, thus contributing to an already tense global situation. Number 1. 1953 setting and the H-bomb Within Operation Ivy, the US had successfully tested its first hydrogen bomb on November 1, 1952. These second-generation nuclear weapons were much more powerful than their predecessors. At the primary stage, they used a fission reaction fueled by plutonium or uranium. This triggered 
a secondary stage fusion reaction fueled by hydrogen isotopes, which gave the thermonuclear weapon its common name. Just so you don't get those mixed up, fission is where the nucleus of an atom is split, while fusion means atomic nuclei are combined. The bomb used in Ivy Mike, the first successful H-bomb test, had about 500 times the yield of the one dropped on Nagasaki. The Soviets wouldn't test a true hydrogen bomb until 1955. Nevertheless, in August 1953, they detonated a bomb that was 10 times more powerful than any of the previous Soviet tests. Among these growing concerns, the clock got its closest set in yet, at two minutes to midnight. It was later matched in 2018 and remains unchanged as of the making of this video. Thanks for watching. If the world was about to end tomorrow, would you want to know about it or be kept in the dark? Let us know in the comments section below.